I believe that people who think that rhetoric has no power in modern politics just aren't listening. Take the Brexit debate. The, the Leave campaign came up with two succinct phrases, take back control and Independence Day. The other side, the Remainers, had any number of complicated arguments, but they never really nailed the language. And I think those two phrases were one of the reasons that Leave won. Now, I feel so strongly that rhetoric is absolutely central to modern politics that I wrote a book about it. And when I was researching the book, the name that kept on coming back was William Shakespeare. Shakespeare's obsessed with political language, turns up in all sorts of different moments and different circumstances. And I think his insights can still help us today to understand the way modern politicians speak. But let me give you an example. On Inauguration Day, Donald Trump said something like, the time for empty words is over. Now arrives the hour of action. So what Trump's saying is, they promise things and don't deliver. They spin, they lie. I'm like you, I'm a simple man of action. I say a little and I do what I say I'm going to do. So compare that with Mark Antony in the famous Friends, Romans and Countrymen speech. In the middle of this incredibly crafty, sophisticated piece of rhetoric, Mark Antony tells the crowd, I am no orator as Brutus is, but as you know me all, a plain, blunt man. And that call, Mark Antony's call, I'm not like them, I don't use rhetoric, echoes down the years. It's what generals and dictators have always said. And nowadays, it's what businessmen turned politicians tend to say. Silvio Berlusconi, the Italian populist leader, once said, if there's one thing I can't stand, it's rhetoric. All I care about is what needs to get done. Now, two obvious points. Firstly, that's rhetoric. Anti-rhetoric, claiming not, not to be a rhetorician, is itself an act of rhetoric. And secondly, when a politician tells you they don't like rhetoric, it's time to watch out. That's a lesson for today, but it's a lesson that William Shakespeare nailed 400 years ago.